All right, this one really quickly. We're just going to break down LeBron's right ankle injury from yesterday and their loss to the Hawks. So if we roll the tape, uh, you can see as LeBron's fighting for the ball, he plants his right foot. And then as he plants his right foot, he gets a force uh, from the Hawks player directly into his knee that forces his knee towards his midline. Now, if we kind of slow that down and you have a look at when he's his foot is actually planted on the ground and he gets that force to his knee, it actually rotates his ankle externally. So this acts on the, if you think the two forces, he's got someone buckling into his knee or buckling his knee and then his foot's planted. So there's this, this opposite direction uh, of rotation forces that happens about the ankle. And effectively what happens with the ankle joint is that it opens or gaps the, the space between your tib and your fib, so the two long bones in the shank. Uh, and this actually put a lot of force or an opening force on the ligaments of the high ankle. And that's why uh, early reports suggest that it's a high ankle or a syndesmosis injury. Um, the high ankle ligaments are the AITFL, the PITFL, and also the interosseous membrane that goes up between the tib and the fib. So depending on grades will depend on the actual management plan for LeBron. So that will, he will obviously go for scans and MRIs and things, uh, and will determine with his team uh, of medical staff what uh, the extent of that injury is. Uh, and that will then determine what they do from there. So your higher grade, uh, syndesmosis injuries are going to obviously go to an ortho review and most uh, some of them can go on to surgery uh, some of your lower grade uh, injuries can be managed conservatively but take um, quite a lot more time than your standard lateral ankle ligament injury um, if you also look at the position that we've got him on lebron on there there's quite a lot of force coming through the medial side of the actual ankle so um, some other injuries that we might suspect here is some potential uh, ligament damage to his deltoid ligament, the ligament that sits on the inside of the ankle, um, and potentially also looking at the mechanism, um, you might be considering some uh, the potential for fractures and things like that in this type of injury. Um, considering that LeBron continued to play, he could hobble on it and could walk on it, and he sunk a three after this injury, um, suggests that potentially um, that high ankle has been compromised, but I'm sure we'll find out uh, further as time goes on. That's a quick breakdown.